Welcome back. Well, President Trump just tweeted that he is canceling the Manufacturing Council and Str Strategic Forum. Look at his tweet. Rather than putting pressure on the business people of the Manufacturing Council and Strategy Policy Forum, I'm ending both. Thank you all, he says. Let's get reaction right now from the uh, former CEO of McDonald's USA, Ed Renzi. Ed, it's always a pleasure to see you. What do you think? Well, this is a tragic moment in our history. Uh, I have the good fortune of having lived through Carter and the embassy takeover in Iran, uh, the Clinton impeachment, Watergate. Uh, different presidencies have had different problems. Donald Trump, our president, is creating a lot of his own problems. This situation that developed over the weekend in Charlottesville is just absolutely abhorrent. Uh, we cannot tolerate that. We cannot have that kind of thing ever again, just like we could never have another Holocaust. I choose to lead from the inside, not the outside. And I'm sorry that all these executives had to leave. And I believe they had to leave because their board of directors and their key constituencies and stakeholders said, get out of there or this company and our organization is going to be tainted by this president. Yeah. When the Phoenix crashes and burns, we're going to have to have an opportunity to regrow our organization, our companies, our country particularly, and start talking to one another in the civil term. term. It's time for the head of the Senate, the head of the House, the president, and all the important leaders of America get their heads on straight and quit acting like a bunch of children and deal with the real problems in this country. You cannot pit the voters against one another to get reelected and get entrenched. We are not going to be politically correct going forward. The citizens won't allow it. Yeah. We need to have an engagement with African Americans, Hispanics, Asians, whites. We need to talk about the future of this country. Reagan said it, we got to be the shining light on the hill. Look, we have to get back there. The president did denounce these hate groups one by one yesterday. Uh, he, I, I assume he recognized that he fell short a couple of days earlier and, and, and came out and did that press conference. It was supposed to be about infrastructure, and yet he came out and said, you know, went through uh, where his failings were, and yet these guys are still stepping down, and girl from, from Campbell Soup, uh, do you think they're getting pressure? From, you say they're getting pressure from the board. What, what's happening here? Because as I said earlier, I spoke with one CEO earlier who said, I'm getting calls nonstop to step down. Is the pressure coming from pension funds, you think, or shareholders, or just boards? Uh, all the above. I'm sure that there are stakeholders in labor unions, there are stakeholders in investors, there are stakeholders in the board of directors, there are employee groups, and they're all saying the same thing. We don't want our company, our institution, tainted with what's going on right now. We believe in civil rights. We believe that everybody is equal. We can't have this. Everybody better take a deep breath, back off, cool off. And Trump needs to be a great leader, and great leaders need to listen to their team. And I don't think he's listening to anybody right now. All right, so I am what is angry he, at my. You're angry at him. I am angry at my president right now. I voted for him. I wanted him to succeed because he's not a political animal. But he's got to behave himself in the sense that he's got to listen to the people around him, and he doesn't listen worth a damn. What, what do you want him to listen to? How do you want him to act differently? Tell me that. Well, we need religious leaders, we need philosophers, and we need business people to come together and say, what are we going to do to fix this? We need the guys in the Senate and the House to come together and talk about what we're going to do to fix this. What, what are we going to do with President Trump for the next three years? This country is going to be in a shambles if we don't rally around a point of view and a strategy to grow this country. We need jobs back in America. We need a great employed middle class. We need to deal with the crime in the city of Chicago, the drug dealers. We've got to do that, and we need a strong leader to get it done. Right. And we better support him and help him. Well, well, that's the thing, though. There's not the support that you would expect coming out of Congress. I mean, you saw what happened with health care, right? You saw what happened in the Senate. Some of, some of these guys and gals, I think, are just fine if he doesn't succeed. The Senate, they're there for six years. They'll outlive him, they're thinking. So how are you going to get them to come and, and, and help this president? If you say he needs leadership, what does he need to do to show leadership and to corral Congress to help him get things done? Well, I wish Pence were in Washington instead of South America because mm. he could be a gentle hand on a tiller right now. Uh, Donald Trump really likes Vice President uh, 
and I think he could have an influence on him. I think that's probably one of the reasons why he's coming back early from South America. We need him right now to be a steady hand on the tiller. And again, I want to say it, we need to get the leadership in the House and the Senate to come together with the executive branch and say, okay, we have got a mess on our hands. What are we going to do to get back on track? If they want Trump to fail, they'll keep doing what they're doing. But there's the thing that we got to think about. When the horse barn's on fire, the horse runs back to their stall because it's the safest place they know. Yeah. It's the most dangerous place to be right now. We need to stick our, stick our neck out a little bit and talk to the president in an mm. honest broker way. All right. We will leave it there. Ed, we know you can do it. We will talk to you soon and uh, follow <laughs> up on that. Ed Renzi joining us there, uh, former CEO of McDonald's USA.